What's up, YouTube? Baker Jack and LeBron Bricks. It's fucking Halloween, motherfuckers. Woo! Spooky, spooky time. Anyway, um, I figured... I promised one of the viewers I'd have a, uh, a little Halloween special. Because that's what this is. This is going to be a, a kind of a, a modified story time, spooky time. Uh... I don't know, some of you motherfuckers might not think it's spooky, but for me, this shit going on is kind of eh, a little disconcerting. So I think the best way to do this is start back at the very beginning. Let's go back, back into time. <laughs> so, as a child growing up, I've been told stories. I had an imaginary friend um, that I called the man in the hat. And I don't have any bad recollections of this but it was prominent enough that my mother remembered it and was like yeah you had an imaginary friend man in a hat I didn't really like him very much and I was like huh I wonder why she would say that she never really elaborated and uh, for all I know she could have been I could have been walking around with like dead animals in my hand saying the man in the hat told me to do it I don't know she never really elaborated and explained to me why she didn't like the man in the hat. Could be pictures I drew. I do recall a lot of very violent, gory pictures and a lot of brains. I don't understand why, but I have monsters with these big fucking brains. Like way before fucking Resident Evil brain monsters and shit or Parasite Eve, whichever one had, had the fucking brain monster. I can't remember now. Anyway, uh, I've had a lot of weird events through my life and some of the old story times you guys might recall, some of the angel stories and uh, some of the weird co-workers and people I've run into throughout my life. Uh, but that's, that's for another time. That's another story. But I wanted to bring up the man in the hat because uh, that seems to be kind of a, a central thing theme on some of the things that's been happening uh, or could be an explanation uh, towards some of the things that have been happening as of late. Um, I hate ums, but I did that for dramatic purpose and also to gather my thoughts more effectively. Now, when my eldest daughter was just a baby, my wife would have a lot of crazy dreams and a lot of weird shit was happening around the apartment. TVs would pop on and off. And for a while, in the very beginning, I thought somebody was just fucking pranking me with a fucking uh, a remote. But it kind of continued and followed uh, for many, many years. Uh, and then when she got a little older, my, my, my daughter... There would be, uh, <laughs> I remember one time she scared the shit out of me. I came downstairs into my, my sister-in-law's basement, and for whatever reason, my daughter had arranged up all the clothing perfectly. Socks, pants, shirt, beanie, whatever, on the ground. It looked like fucking, when I first came down to the basement, flipped the lights on, my first thought was, oh my god, these fucking floors full of dead bodies. Because, you know, at your peripheral vision, you could see things. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Who the hell arranged clothing on a fucking floor like this? And it was my daughter. And then later, uh, I remember I was working and she was sitting there drawing next to me. She was on the, on the floor sitting next to me. She was drawing. And she was drawing for a while. And then she said, Daddy, I'm tired. I said, oh, go lay down. Go take a nap or something. She says, no, my hand is tired. I said, well, fucking stop drawing. She goes, I can't. My hand's drawing. And she was doing these circles and other shit. And I was like, okay, that's not fucking spooky at all. So I put my hand on her hand and she stopped. She said, thanks, daddy. And she got up and left. I was like, what the fucking hell was that all about? So I was like, holy shit. That was kind of spooky. And, you know, I'd have shit disappear around uh, you know just different shit disappear like I, I would put something somewhere and I knew it was fucking there 
and then I'd tear the whole fucking house apart, and lo and behold, that bitch would be right back <laughs> where it was initially. And Filipinos have a culture, cultural thing called dwindles. They're like little dwarves. And um, sometimes if you lose something, you could ask the, the devas and you can you can find shit that way, whatever. But anyway, I digress. This is getting to... I'm just building background here for you motherfuckers so you guys understand historical precedences that have been uh, set up. And there was one time... Uh, the kids were at my sister-in-law's house and me and my wife were just hanging out in the bedroom just talking to stuff and we were kind of winding down to go to sleep and we both heard a hey and we're like what the fuck where did that come from and we went toward a whole house part nothing there and I was like hmm again precedent you'll see in a second so let's see at uh, and I always see like little darting uh, little darting shadow always off my peripheral um and i'd be like what the fuck and i would think it's a dog or you know one of the other pets that we'd have and it, it would always turn out it wasn't that and at the old house um my middle daughter and her best friend uh were always telling me stuff like weird stuff was going on like they would feel something near them or whatever not nothing fucked with them but they would sense something and they'd be like huh what the hell well then we we left that house we got to the apartment while we were waiting for this house to be built and there was a couple times where again my middle daughter and her best friend kept experiencing things um one time they they both heard something yell and they got kind of spooked. And then, uh, again, movements, things kind of darting around, uh, lights flickering, things of that nature. And I said, fuck, you know, it's a piece of shit apartment. We'll, we'll get moved to the house. So when we get to this house, first thing I do is we sage the entire house before anything comes in here, before anything else. We take the holy waters. We ask the Heavenly Father to bless the house, fill it with light and all, all that jazz. And we move in. And my son used to be in this room before I was able, before the basement was done and we moved them down into the basement, they were up here. And he tells me one day, he goes, Dad, I had a, I had a weird thing happen last night. And I said, what, did you pop a boner? He's like, fuck off, no, not that. I said, what? He said, there was a man or, or a thing standing at the base of my bed watching me. And I said, what do you look like? He said, he kind of was like all like shadows except for the eyes. The eyes were like glowing red. And I'm like, glowing red eyes, huh? Which is different. When you research shit like shadow people, you don't typically hear about a shadowy form with uh, just glowing red eyes. Sometimes you might hear about uh, a red glow over the entire body, but not necessarily focused on the eyes. And I thought, yeah, that's interesting. I said, it didn't do anything. He's like, no, I fucking closed my eyes and went to sleep. Just tried to ignore it because it didn't do anything. And woke up and it was gone. I said, okay. He never got, he never got a, a, a visit again from uh, Mr. Red Eyes. But my daughter and her friend they would be sitting inside the kitchen and the lights in the mudroom would flicker. Now the lights are rocket switches. They're the big panel ones. And uh, it's really hard to make that particular light flicker because it's like took, 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 you know. And then in another time there was uh, a knife on the, the, the island that was spinning. Now that one, I kind of was like, you could have, they could have easily bumped it while they were cooking and stuff, and sent that kind of rotating. So, but it never like levitated up and stabbed anybody in the fucking head or anything else like that. It just, you know, it was just spinning. That was, that's that's pretty fucking weird. And 
I was uh, working here one day, and I I have this this uh, bamboo mat that my chair sits on and slides and makes it easier to slide because I have carpet here. And I was sitting here, and the dog is sitting behind me, kind of like she is right now. She always sits at small on my back when I'm working. And all of a sudden, something fucking scurried around my chair over my foot. Like, like, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I look down, and my dog's sitting at my back. I can feel her back there twitching and, you know, dreaming or whatnot. And so I look around like there's nothing there, nothing, nothing on the fucking ground. I'm thinking... Fuck, if that was a mouse or something, that's a big mother... F it, was like a, it would be like a fucking possum. It was. It had weight to it, and it moved. And that freaked me out a little bit. So I'm looking around in my office, I can't find shit. Because, you know, I got knives and everything. I was ready to kill whatever the fuck was in here. There was nothing fucking there. I'm like, ah, that's fucking weird. Then I got sick. Some of, some of my viewers might recall about, I don't know, a month ago or some shit. I got sick. And, um... I felt just like the fucking flu. I kid you not. Like I had all these body chills. My body fucking ached really bad. The hairs ached. Like I just felt like I felt like dog shit. I thought I I had the fucking flu, but I didn't have any fevers or anything else. I was like, God, this is horrible. This fuck. This sucks. So, wife's at work. I decide, fuck. I'm gonna take a shower. See if that can make me feel better. And as I'm sitting there and I'm taking a shower, I'm I'm kind of praying and talking and stuff like that because my wife is convinced that I have a gin in me and I'm like I don't have a fucking gin in me okay but she's like you got a gin in you I'm like I don't got a fucking gin in me she's like where do you think all your story ideas are coming from it's coming from a fucking gin and I'm like it's not a fucking gin so I'm sitting in there and you know somebody says something to you and you're kind of reflecting on it so I was like look if there's some shit in me you get the fuck out, because I really don't want you in me, I never invited you in me, and, you know, I don't want anything inside of me. And then I started thinking, man, in my story I wrote, um, Magic Really Sucks, the main character Ethan, as he manifests to become a Nephilim, um, he goes through this whole purging process that's horrible, feels like shit, you know, and I felt, I was like laughing to myself, I said, wouldn't it be a fucking trip if I'm manifesting into a fucking Nephilim, just like the story? I wonder if this is what Ethan felt. And right at that moment, my fucking phone rings. I'm all grumpy. I'm thinking it's my wife trying to call me. It's like 10-something at night. I get right to the phone as I'm reaching for it. It stops ringing. The caller ID on that motherfucker was 1111. And I'm like, what the fuck? Here's the uh, screenshot for it right here. Um, and I'm like, the fuck is this shit? You know? And... Uh, I was like, what the hell? So that night, I didn't sleep very well. I tossed and turned. And I just really, I kept going hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. And I just felt, I just felt like dog shit. And the next morning, my wife's getting ready to uh, go run some errands and stuff like that. And I'm just laying on the couch. And, and my daughter downstairs, she's sleeping. And my my wife leaves. And I'm sitting there. And all of a sudden... I'm just about to not off. The fucking fire alarm goes off. And I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm thinking, fucking kids are, must be down, you know, left the computer on, when the plug shorted out. You know, you get this whole horror show going through your fucking mind when you hear beep, 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 beep. I run downstairs. I'm fucking kicking the rooms. I'm looking inside. I see my daughter. Is there any smoke or anything? She's like, no, everything's cool. And I go look in the other rooms. Everything's good. And it cuts off. I'm like, son of a bitch. What the fuck is this shit? You know? And I'm like, okay, what the fucking hell is going on here, right? And of course, it was right when I was trying to go to sleep. My daughter also, when when uh, she was downstairs sleeping around the same time, she was like, she was dreaming of fire and smoke and stuff like that. And then the uh, smoke detectors and stuff went off. And so we thought, we kind of came up with a theory that perhaps uh, she was causing some poltergeist activity and maybe some of this stuff was happening because of her. Which I was like, eh, possibly, you know. And then one day, everybody's out of the house. Nobody's fucking here. Just me and a dog. And I'm sitting here. And again, something just fucking 
runs past my foot, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Is-? And this time, the dog, she hears it too. She's like looking around, trying to figure out where this noise is coming from as well. And I'm like, what the fuck? And so I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone with a, a good buddy of mine, and I'm like, I didn't say anything to him at the time because I was kind of like, you know, I didn't want to go through the whole story like I am right now. But we hear this boom. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And so I grab my gun because I always have my shit here nearby me. So I grab my gun. I'm like, hold up, bro. I'm just going to clear the house. Some dumb motherfucker is doing some dumb shit in my fucking house. He's about to get fucking ventilated. So I go downstairs, clearing the fucking house. Then here, not, not a fucking thing. And I'm thinking about the boom. And the acoustics in the house are kind of shitty. Like, um, I could yell up here and the kids can't hear me downstairs. Unless I'm by a vent. And if I'm by a vent, I can yell downstairs and then they can just barely hear me through uh, one of the vents. So I'm thinking, maybe it was the uh, the heater or something like that blowing through the vents and maybe it's expanding or something. But I didn't change the temperature or anything else. It was, it was constantly running uh, air conditioning at the time. And so I thought, no, nah, that's a different sound. That would have been like, bling. You know, it's it's a very distinct sound when, when the vents kind of expand. This was like a big boom. That's why I thought somebody was, you know, fucking around and fell or something like that. And then I thought, well, maybe it's some boulders or something. Because there's constant construction going around in this bitch. So I thought maybe they are like, doing a, um, you know, retaining wall or something. But... Then I thought back, and uh, when those boulders are cracking against each other, they make a pretty goddamn distinct sound, and it's very far away. So I'm like, what the fuck? Another set of weird noises that's been happening off and on is, like, we have these trash cans we have to put in the backyards because the HOA is being really, you know, Nazi with us. Uh, and then when you're pulling these these plastic trash cans across the ground here, it makes a very distinct noise. Well, one night, me and my wife were laying there. We were hearing this shit, and I'd get up, and I'd peek outside, thinking it was one of the neighbors, thinking it was one of the fucking neighbors doing stuff. And uh, lo and behold, nothing out there. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll look in the morning. You'll see the trails, and I know who the fuck was out dragging shit around all fucking night, you know? Um, The other thing, too, to note is I've been waking up pretty much fanatically almost at least twice, three times a week uh, at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Just 3 o'clock. Boom. And one morning it was like 3, 3, 3 in the morning. Um, there's a couple times that happened. Uh, and I constantly am seeing 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 1, 11, 1, 11, you know, just these fucking sequences of 1s and 11s and 3s. Uh, I've been seeing them constantly, constantly, constantly uh, for a while now. Uh, so anyway... I go outside, I don't see any trails, I can't figure out where that sound's coming from. Again, acoustics in the area is kind of funky, could be, who knows, could be, could have been somebody from over there pulling their trash, and it just sounded like it was coming from over here. I don't fucking know. Okay, so, then, um, the one that really fucking got me was I was sitting here working, and dogs right behind me. And all of a sudden, like, right about here, I hear, hey. And I go, what the fucking, like, I fucking, I, I jumped because nobody was home. Everybody was gone. It was a male voice. Hey. I'm like, what the fuck? And so I'm like, am I fucking skitzing out? Is this some fucking voice of God? Are they fucking microwaving my brain? Are they doing some weird shit? So I fucking grabbed the sage bulb holy water i fucking hit the whole house up again i fucking light the sage on fire so i got billowing smoke and then i did that i did that you know i actually saged it twice i saged the second time um my daughter was home on that next day i saged it a lot more because first i saged this room because i thought there's some something in this fucking room but then the next day i was like you know fuck this fuck this like I just had this overwhelming urge. I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. So I went fucking bananas and I just fucking did the entire fucking house, burnt that sage down to like next to nothing. I think I might have some remnants of that bitch sitting in here somewhere. 
uh, it's just nothing but a little fucking piece of it now. And, you know, that that was that. And the other thing that I've been doing is uh, prepared my 101. Uh, Chris over there is a good dude. He was putting out these uh, purification oil, right, which um, I use on a regular basis. And what I do with this is I will sit here and I'll take it, shake it up, and I'll put some on the wrist, some on the other wrist like this. And I did, I charged this thing in the sunlight and I put a lot of intent into it. Like, you know, I'm trying to just bring light to myself and I'll tell you why in a second. And then I asked him when I ordered that, I said, dude, did you have anything? I know you've dealt with shit like demons and weird shit in the past. You got anything, you know, anything for that kind of stuff? And he's like, well, I do have this, this, this something for you. So he sent this to me, and it's basically something that he calls total protection oil. And this one, I'll shake it up. I'll go here, and then I'll go ahead and just put it on my arm. Just put it on my arm. I put it on my inner arm and stuff like that because uh, I made the mistake before of putting stuff on my hands and then I'd rub my eyes and you get these oils and ointments and shit in your face. It's no, it's no fucking fun. It's no joy. But on the arms and stuff like that, it's not, not problematic. So, you know, I've been doing this and then my wife's been saying, hey, you know what? Why don't you pray and picture light on yourself and stuff like that? And then this is when I got really kind of spooked. Um, in the old days, I used to close my eyes, visualize like a spotlight on me, blah, 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 and it would, you know, make me feel better, whatever, um, as I pray to the Heavenly Father, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, now, every time I close my eyes and I'm picturing, like, light uh, shining on me, uh, instead, I get, like, the opposite. I get, like, this inky, billowy, uh, luminous cloud darkness that just kind of uh, envelops me and just cover shit and it kind of freaks me out every time I try to do that so I don't do that very often now um, instead I just kind of abstractly say Heavenly Father please fill me with the the, the righteous light and help me walk uh, a righteous path blah 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 and uh, it, it's it's really disconcerting really on the on the funky side uh, so far my health's been really good I've been feeling a lot better I just recently started working out again um, so I feel good, but um, it just, there's an overwhelming sense of yuckiness. Then, so, uh, not too long ago, I follow a psychic, her name's Suzanne Wagner. Years ago, I had a chance to do a session with her a few years back. So I've been following her email, uh, newsletters and stuff, and she's, she's kind of cool. Uh, real, real fun lady. And anyway, she just recently, last month, put out a uh, thing that kind of made sense of a couple of things that I was kind of feeling. There was like a, a feeling of unbalance and um, kind of being uh, pushed around. Well, what was funny is um, she says going into 2020 now, all the way up till 2020, we are hitting a different... Um, a different flow the planets are in a different alignment so there's a lot of scientific stuff to substantiate what she's saying so the planet the planets are in a really weird alignment uh, I mean they're like straight straight lined up here and what happens is as the Sun's in the grand solar minimum there's not a lot of activity hitting our planet so there's not a lot of solar wind and things of that nature that are normally hitting us so imagine you're normally standing like this the wind's hitting you and you're just kind of balanced against it right so you're good you've been holding that line forever and a day well suddenly that wind stops and now you get hit by a ton of other wind coming from the other direction which really unknocks you knocks you forward you stumble and you get a kind of uh thing so what was interesting she said a lot of things that were um we've hidden away or we have not been wanting to look at lately um, is going to resurface and be right in front of us and we're going to have to deal with it in some way, shape, or form. There is no ignoring it. So there's a lot of uh, ugly skeletons popping out of closets that's going to freak people the fuck out because they're not, they're not mentally ready to see the shit they've been tucking away uh, in the deepest corners of their hearts. So now this shit's coming out. And then I just saw... Uh, our ionosphere buckle and flip the other way as we got nailed from the reverse side um, 
the opposite of the solar wind hitting us. So there's some stuff that's happening on the science side to substantiate some stuff that's happening on the esoteric side. So anyway, it's kind of interesting. So what I wanted to ask you guys, since it's Halloween, um, have you guys been feeling a little off? Have you guys been feeling a little bit like, um, a little off balance? And it started probably about a month ago. So I've been noticing an uptick on weird shit here in the last 30 days. Um, my kids have been having a lot of really bizarre, funky nightmares, things of that nature. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to bring that up. It's kind of spooky, and I think it's appropriate considering today is Halloween. But I wanted to share with you guys and also invite you guys because I'm doing kind of an informal poll. I'm kind of curious how many people have been experiencing anything odd with an increased frequency starting a month ago. Sound off down at the bottom. Let me motherfucking know. All right, guys, uh, that's it. I'm going to wind this up. You guys have a happy Halloween, happy Sam Haynes Day, you know, whatever. And uh, be good. Keep an eye on the kitties. Keep your head on the swivel. Keep your eyes open because there's going to be kids darting everywhere trying to get their fucking sugar fix. Give me the fucking candy. Give me the fucking candy. You know what I mean? But uh, anyway, that's it for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell your friends far and wide. Until next time, motherfuckers, please be good to yourselves. Good to each other. Go out and live life to the fullest. Ride the bus until the wheels fall off. Have some adventures. Get some scars. Tell some stories. Fall in love. And all that jazz. All right, guys. I'll see you.